Welcome to Triple Trouble. I'm Mick. This is Gijs and behind the camera is Chef. And we're going to take you on a tour of our National Training Center. So this is our 18 meter range. We shoot from way over there uh, to here. And then uh, in the winter we can shoot 70 meters and 18 meters simultaneously. There is one shooting line over here and then we can shoot outside. And then other archers can shoot uh, in the back of the other archers shooting 70 meters. So you stand where you're standing right now, about over there, through the hatch, and you can shoot 70 meters, nice, warm, and comfortable. So we have uh, about four cameras. There's one over there which you can move. There's one above you uh, which can well record above you. Uh, there's one right over there, and there's one behind you. We use uh, a program called Dartfish, so we can uh, record ourselves and analyze ourselves and uh, see if we can we need to change anything in our form. So basically, what we can do, Gijs is going to um, record videos from different angles. Um, we can make one video with two cameras. Um, we can also train uh, with a video delay, so that means that you shoot an arrow, then can see the last shot you did on the screen. So this is the office. You know, our coaches have their meetings here, uh, discussions with us, uh, making of planning. So as you can see, there's the entire year on the calendar. So next up, outside. Go outside. <laughs> okay, you. Don't forget to hand in the keys. So this is the outdoor range. Uh, we can shoot 70 meters from uh, several locations. The lines are a bit vague now. Normally there are clear white lines here. But yeah, it's raining and we're not shooting 70 meters a lot now anyway. So you stand about where Gijs is standing right now. And then uh, we can move the targets. As you can see, they have wheels on them. Uh, so you can move them to whatever distance you like. Uh, obviously, usually we shoot 70 meters, but um, Changes are always welcome. Uh, 90 meters is uh, possible as well. You roll the one target all the way to the back, and I think you stand um, under the roof. Right about there. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, that's 90 meters. When you enter Papendo, this big sign is here. Um, it counts the days until the Winter Olympic Games uh, from Chang and the Olympic Games, Tokyo. Every time you enter uh, Papano, you are being reminded of the Olympic Games. So we're at the parking lot of the, the Congress Center and the Hotel of Papano. This is the place that you would go if you book a hotel room and uh, want to train at Papano for, for instance, a training camp. Uh, we've had a couple of countries over and they stayed at the hotel. Uh, for the rest, this is just a nice uh, opportunity to uh, maybe hang out in the bar or uh, they have some uh, some clinics that you can do, and it's uh, basically just a good spot to uh, for leisure, and uh, it's a nice hotel. At the moment, we are inside of the lobby uh, of the hotel. Over here, we have a business meeting center, so companies can book a day and have a meeting here um, eventually do some uh, do a workshop. So you can obviously see that the place is all influenced by sport. There's uh, a lot of things. Just to show how high this actually is, Kais is gonna stand next to it. It's the road so, record. Yeah, somebody jumped over that. By the way, I don't have to forget to hand in the keys. Here we can see the road record uh, long jumping. It is. 8 meters and 98 centimeters. Which is ridiculous. So as a lot of people might know, the Netherlands is quite the country of bicycles. I think we have more bicycles than cars. I definitely hope so. Uh, on Papendal, there are a lot of bicycles as well. Uh, because Papendal is, uh, is quite big, uh, we use bicycles or people that stay over here can use bicycles uh, to transport themselves across uh, 
Papenland itself. We're at the pitch and put place. There's a, there's a lot of holes here that you can uh, play mini golf basically, or pitch and put as it's called. Um, this particular hole is 55 meters, and I bet I can throw these in the hole. So, you have the brown orange building right there in the back. That's where Gijs lives. Um, if you're under the age of, I think, 20 or something, uh, you're supposed to live there. That's where the younger athletes live. Uh, there's a little bit more supervision, so all the youngsters can, well, keep themselves in check. So, that's where Gijs lives. Let's have a look. Ryan Little. <laughs> my room it's I think 15 square meters um, this is where I make my food yeah I had coffee this morning I didn't have time to clean it up this is where most of the trouble editing stuff happens uh, chef is conducting uh, all the serious business yeah, chef is doing my password because I left it switched on very uh, closet this is my closet and <coughs> And I have a nice picture of me and my little brother. <laughs> hey, who is that in the mirror? All right, so sink, toilet, shower. Pretty simple, gets the job done. So the room isn't too big, it's not too small either. So we are in Arnhem Hall right now. This is our restaurant where we eat and here we can buy food that is uh, specially developed for athletes. We can also socialize here and meet up with other athletes or our coaches. <laughs> So this wall is the winner's wall. It's the wall of fame, as you can see. Um, the 2012 till 2016 world champions and Olympic uh, medal winners are on this wall with all their famous sports moments. Okay. Okay. The volleyball, it's basically it's a multi-purpose hall, uh, which is mostly used by volleyball players, volleyball teams. And uh, as you can see on the walls, um, there's a special kind of wood which, which absorbs vibration and sound. So you can imagine if that wouldn't be there, then uh, there would be a lot more sound and uh, vibration coming off of the balls bouncing off the wall. Here is, a, as you can see, it's a, an athletics hall. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, we can't go in there. I've heard that it's a special hall because you can do javelin throw and uh, shot put in this hall without damaging anything. I'm not sure how they manage that, but it's nice to have that as an exercise for your shoulders. We're in uh, one of the three strength and conditioning training halls. As you can see, there's a lot of. Um, uh, stations you can uh, work out at, uh, do several exercises, bench presses, we have uh, Kaiser machines over here. Uh, basically we have a strength and conditioning trainer that makes schedules for us. Um, 
in which we get the most benefit from in addition to archery. <laughs> So that concludes this tour at the Olympic Training Center. I um, hope we gave you a good insight on where we train, where we live. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>